Just those big blocks of concrete in the Willamette River between Eugene and Springfield. After a number of water rescues, there is now a call to inspect the Mill Race Lowhead Dam and possibly remove it. And KZI 9 News reporter Aaron Ariano explains why it's been so tough to get answers about who's responsible for the decommissioned dam. Historically, we don't have any good records to show who owns the remnants that are in the water. Uh, there isn't any official historic designation. That's Michelle Emmons, program manager for the Willamette Riverkeeper, and she's talking about this, the Millrace Lowhead Dam. It's more than 100 years old, and it's been decommissioned for years. Now, river protection advocates like her want it removed because of the frequent rescues in this specific spot of the Willamette. It's literally a drowning machine. That, that is what they call these. This is a lowhead dam. They're the number one killer in U.S. rivers today. That's because of the circular currents that lowhead dams create. Even with a life jacket, someone who gets stuck in its white waters will be trapped. That and other hazardous obstructions that this river-wide dam creates. Take it from Carly Fear, who got stranded with her kayak just feet away from the dam back in 2018. I was just going through it and all of a sudden um, the current or an eddy kind of pulled my kayak and I got stuck against something and my boat tilted and started letting water in. I ended up having to get out um, and try to move it myself. With my own strength, I couldn't move it. Thankfully, Fear's mother was able to help her, but it was one of the countless terrifying moments at this specific strip in the Willamette. Lane County Search and Rescue says they're consistently conducting rescues right here. The way that water flows over a lowhead dam, it causes hydraulics and it causes currents that can be really hard to get out of. We probably come to this spot several times a year between us and Eugene Springfield Fire affecting rescues in, in and around this area several times a year. So whose responsibility is this? No matter how hard they've searched, people like Emmons can't find any documentation on who built this 100 years ago and who's responsible for it today. Therein lies a question of who do we go to, whose responsibility is it to get the remnants removed? We know that it's going to be extremely expensive. Other advocates like Mike McFarlane have reached out to countless agencies. They start out with the Army Corps of Engineers, and they said, oh, that's the Marine Board. And they like, got the Marine Board, and they turned around and said, no, that's not us. So it's a hot potato. And that's why they want this petition seen, so they can identify agencies to inspect the Lowhead Dam and ultimately find out who's responsible for it, so it can be upkept safely or removed altogether. Coming up at 6 p.m., how would any of the changes to this dam cost and the one recreational solution being thrown around? Reporting in Springfield, Aaron Ariano, KZI 9 News.